Hello and welcome back to day 20 of the NA10 series. In the last couple of videos, we saw how do we create four parameters that is required for our WhatsApp automation, namely the client ID, client secret, the access token, and the business account ID. And you also saw how do we set up the WhatsApp trigger and WhatsApp send a message action. But we were able to send just a normal text and you can do this only if the user sends you a message. But if you want to initiate sending a message to the user, then it needs to be a template based message. So what is a template based message? A template message is templatized. So you will tell what is the header, what is the message body. Okay, you can have a few parameters in the header or in the body, but you will tell WhatsApp before you are able to send it to the user how the message will look like. So let's see how do we create template messages and what kind of template messages can we create on WhatsApp. Let's get started. So we'll head back to developers.facebook.com and we, will, we are on the app that we created. And uh, you can see that we sent a message from here, right? Uh, so again, this is a template message. As you can see, template is being used and hello world is the template name. If you want to create your own template, you can click on create your own template on this particular uh, page. And it opens business.facebook.com latest WhatsApp manager, right? And if you have created your own number or if you have uh, created if you have already created your own number, then uh, the templates will be shown for that particular number, right? Uh, but uh, we have not created one in this particular case. If you go to phone number, then it's just this test number. I've already shown you from where you can create, uh, add your own number. So please do it from there. Now let's head back to manage templates and here we can create template. But before we go then, I'd like to show you a few things. We have account tools like insights, where you can see all types of insights. Because we have not uh, sent any num uh, messages from here, it's not showing us any uh, details, but let me show you the same thing from our uh, other account. So we don't have any insights here because we don't, uh, we have not sent any messages, but if we go to one of the numbers that we have sent messages, you can see all the insights here. We have something called flows, which we will probably be covering in a couple of days. Uh, these are the phone numbers which are associated with your uh, account. Uh, we have two. And uh, you can also create catalogs, which can also be used along with template messages. And activity logs are being shown here. Yep. Let's go back and uh, we can create a message template. Uh, so create template from here and uh, you have uh, three types of uh, templates that you can create. One is marketing, which is meant for marketing purposes. Uh, one is utility. Uh, this is like uh, sending some order updates or something like that. And authentication, which is meant for uh, sending uh, OTP or any uh, sensitive information. Let's go with marketing and I will go with the default uh, settings. You could also create, uh, you, you can also go with catalog for which you'll have to create a catalog here. And uh, you can also create calling permission request, which means uh, you're asking the user if you could call them, right? So uh, we'll go with default, click on next. It will ask you for the name of the template. And they could give something like um, uh, Ganesh Festival. Uh, wishes right just as a template because uh, we're going to release this during this festive time uh, you can select the language uh, like English English UAE or uh, whatever it is we'll go with default English and we'll come to type of variable in a bit uh, also media sample header right so we can add any header here you can see how the template will look like over here so the header can be something like wishes from ABCD community, right? You can see the message will actually look like this with the bold header and then the body will be here. 
So here can be the name. Uh, so I put the name here. I'll come back to the now coming back to body. You can insert any uh, body that you want. So I'll put this right and uh, let's quickly check what is the body that we have here. Hi. And then we have given this as a uh, parameter, okay, which means variable, uh, which will be dynamic, right? Uh, and uh, wishing you a joyful Ganesha Chaturthi from the ABCD no code community. May Lord Ganesha shower you with success and happiness. Join ABCD where students, founders, and creators connect, learn, and build without coding, without code. Celebrate the festival while unlocking exclusive resources and networking opportunities. Uh, so this dot is to be removed. Ready to begin? Tap below to join our WhatsApp group or check our check our festive box. And we could also uh, add the footer here. Before that, this particular thing, right? One is a variable. And that's why you have to give what a variable looks like. This one could be like Pritesh, okay? You can have uh, multiple variables. The only thing that WhatsApp checks is your static text should be slightly more than your dynamic text, okay? Otherwise, it will not uh, work. So, for example, if I remove uh, these things, then it will throw error. It says this template has too many variables for its length. Reduce the number of variables or increase the message length. Okay, so the moment I add this, it's all good. Now, we could also add a footer, something like ABCD. Right, so that will come over here like this. So, this is a normal template. Now, we could add uh, media, but before that, I'll also show you type of variable we have name and number when you make it as name then you'll have to change this one to something like name right uh, so instead of using numbers you're using uh, variable names okay so if you are adding the second one let's say just randomly adding something here right so here you can give like uh, designation right so here you will be adding name of that parameter variable okay but if you make it as number if you make it as a number then this will be one and this will become two so basically whenever you're adding any new parameter it will automatically keep adding the numbers okay so i'll remove that we don't need them and here are the advertise. Let's go back to the media sample. If it is none, then you're not adding in media. If you're adding image, then the image can be added over here. Uh, if you are uh, sending video, then video can be sent. Now, all of this is dynamic. If you are mentioning image, then whenever you're sending the template message, you have to upload an image there or rather give a link to your image. Okay, we have to upload a sample here. So let me do that. So I'm going to upload my own image so you can see that the image comes here. Okay, this is how your template is going to look like when a user receives it. Okay, uh, likewise, you could also do it for video or document or location. Let's go with the uh, video for now, uh, image for now. We can also add buttons. Okay, as you can see, create buttons that lets customer respond to your messages or take action. You can add up to 10 buttons. If you add more than three buttons, they will appear in a list. Okay, so if I go here and say visit website, I can mention, I mean, you can change the uh, text of the button, like this one, visit website, could be like visit community website, right, anything. And it could be static or dynamic. Let's go with static for now. adcd.with7.com Okay, that's the website link. We can add more buttons like uh, call phone number or copy of a code. You can also make it as custom like, uh, yes, I want to join the community. Okay, it can be only 25 characters. I want to join. Okay, so that will look like this. So when they click on this, it's actually sending a message like, yes, I want to join. These are the buttons where you get uh, messages from uh, 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 Geo or something like that, like yes, no, and so on and so forth. Those are this kind of buttons. 
right uh, you could add multiple other buttons as well if you want and once you are happy with the way template has come in you can just click on submit for review so whatsapp will review every single template to ensure that uh, the message that you are going to send to the user is not having anything fishy okay so as soon as you create a template it will go in in the review state and it will show that it may take up to 24 hours but generally happens within 24 seconds so let me just refresh this and we can see this one being ready okay so that's how you create a whatsapp message template on facebook uh, i know the video might have been longer but each of this step is very very important and in tomorrow's video we will be seeing how do we send this template message to bulk numbers that is the numbers will be saved on google sheets and we will send this template to multiple users in one workflow so do not miss it thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one